for units within measurement systems using proportions and unit rates. So we're going to talk about the metric system and the customary system. If you are from the United States, you are most familiar with the customary system. If you are from other parts of the world, then you are probably more familiar with the metric system. Because I am not as familiar with the metric system, I have a mnemonic to help me remember the metric system, which is King Henry doesn't usually drink chocolate milk. There are a lot of others out there, but that's just the one I remember. Um, so when you are going from your basic unit and then going to deci, um, cent, or milli, you are multiplying by 10, your number by 10, multiplying by 100, and then multiplying by 1,000. These units are smaller, so you're going to need more of them to be equivalent to your basic unit. If you were going to deca, hecto, and kilo, you're going to divide by 10, divide by 100, and then divide by 1,000. These units are bigger, so your number is going to get smaller. So you would move your decimal point to the left if you were converting this direction. And you would move your decimal to the right if you were converting this direction. So, for example, if you were converting 35 centimeters to meters, you are going to move your decimal point one, two places to the left. So that would be 0 0.35 meters. If you were converting 550 deciliters to milliliters, you are going to move your decimal point one, two, three, four to get four million five hundred thousand milliliters. All right, in the customary system, you are going to convert using a unit rate. A unit rate is a ratio that compares a quantity with one unit to the other quantity. So we're going to use the star uh, sixth grade reference um, chart. Um, I'm from Texas, so we're going to use that. That's our state exam. And um, we are going to use that reference chart to help us um, set up our conversion. So you would look at what are the two different labels, the two different things I'm converting between in these problems. What is the factual information given on my reference chart? And then what is the information given in the problem on my paper? So for example, um, it says four feet is equivalent to how many inches? So I'm going between feet and in inches. So I'm going to pull up my star reference chart and it says that one foot is 12 inches. So that's my fact. And then my problem says I'm converting four feet to inches. So how do I get from one to four? I multiply by four, 12 times four, it's 48, so my answer is 48 inches. All right, number two says 12 cups is equivalent to how many pints? So I'm doing cups and pints. My fact is that two cups is one pint, and I'm converting 12 cups to how many pints? Two times six is 12. So one times six, this is six pints. All right, so now we have a mixture of problems. 
This is my metric system, so I don't need my reference chart. Converting 45 grams to kilograms. So grams, one, two, three. One, two, three. So that's 0 0.045 kilograms. 3.2 kiloliters to deciliters. That's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's going to be 32,000 mil, or sorry, deciliters. Number three, Isabel ran 25 kilometers on Sunday, two kilometers on Monday, and four kilometers on Tuesday. How many meters did she run? So I'm going to look at the total kilometers she want, ran first. So that's 36 kilometers, and then I'm changing that to meters. So one, two, three. So that's 30, I'm sorry, I added wrong. This is 31. So that would be 31,000 meters. A recipe calls for four gallons of cranberry juice and two quarts of pineapple juice. How many quarts of liquid is this? So I need to convert them into the same form before I add them. So I have gallons and quarts. So I want to convert it to quarts. So my facts are one gallon is four quarts. I have four gallons and I want to know how many quarts those are. So one times four is four. Four times four is 16. So this is 16 plus the two quarts. So this is 18 quarts total. Okay, how many miles are equivalent to 10,560 yards? So I'm doing miles and yards. My facts are that one mile is 1,760 yards. So if I have 10,560 yards, how many miles is that? So we kind of have to guess and check. Let's, it's almost 2,000, so I'm going to try five. Okay, so that's not quite it. So let's try six. So that looks about right. So five, and not five, six miles. All right, number six, you were going to convert 12 yards to inches. So yards to inches, my fact is that... We're going to have to do a double conversion here. So one yard is three feet. So we're going to change. Oops. We're going to do a double conversion. This is kind of tricky. 
So we can't convert two over smaller than a yard is a foot. So we're going to do yards to feet first. So one yard is three feet. So that means that we are talking about 12 yards. How many feet is 12 yards? This is times 12 times 12. So we're talking about 36 feet. So now we're going to see how many inches is 36 feet. So 30, we're going to do feet to inches. Feet to inches. I know that one foot is 12 inches. We're talking about 36 feet. So 1 times 36 is 36. 12 times 36. 12 times 36. Four hundred and thirty-two inches. That one was a little tricky because we did a double conversion.